Hi, my name is Julian Meller from propergolfing.com. In this video, I'm going to show you five different elements that when pieced together, will really help you improve your driving. We're gonna talk about the setup, the body movement, the path that you need to hit the golf ball from, the finish, and the understanding of relaxation. So the first thing that we need to look at is making sure that you're addressing the golf ball correctly. That means setting up the right distance from the golf ball every time. It means getting the ball position right, getting your weight distribution right, and a little tweak that I like to see that enables you to turn and weight transfer much better in the backswing. So let me just show you the routine to get the right distance from the golf ball. Um, so an issue that I see a lot of golfers having is to stood too far away with the driver. And what happens then, they tend to push their arms away from the body, the weight gets very much towards the toes, and this makes moving your body quite difficult. So you see a lot of people quite static in the backswing, and then a lot of people lean back to try and get the golf ball to go in the air. Um, but this setup is a really poor way of setting up with the driver. So what I'll do now is I'll show you a very simple routine that you can follow that will get you the right distance from the golf ball every time with the driver. So what I'm going to do is deliberately stand too far away from this golf ball to start off with. So um, I'm deliberately too far away. I'm going to stand up nice and tall, arms out in front of me, and then I'm just going to relax them onto the body. So from face on, I just hold my arms out and relax them. I'm not holding my arms straight, I'm letting them be relaxed on either side of my body. So we're really important now that you feel this connection between your upper arms and your chest from here. Now what we're going to do is bend forward from your hips, we're going to bend this way. What I see a lot of golfers do is sit back this way, so they tend to sit back on the driver, the weight gets on the heels and now you're not going to be able to move your body very efficiently. So arms onto your body first, bend forward from your hips till the club hits the floor. Once he's hit the floor, we then just relax the knees. So I'm just gonna deliberately stand a bit too far away again. So arms, hips, till it hits the floor. Now just soften the knees. They're just relaxed, they're not bent, because if they're bent, you're not gonna be able to move your body very efficiently. Arms, hips, knees. Now from here, you can see that I'm slightly too far away from the golf ball. So the worst thing we could do is push the arms to the golf ball. All we're going to do is just nudging with your feet. And if I double check that, arms, hips, knees, now I'm the perfect distance from the golf ball. I feel really in balance, and the sensation that I'm getting at setup is as though my arms are just hanging down and not being pushed away from my body too much. So it's a really simple routine to get you the correct distance from the golf ball. So the next thing that we need to make sure that you're doing correctly is getting the ball position right for you. So if you look in the books, it all says about having the ball opposite your left heel. So I haven't teed this one up, but if you had it opposite your heel, that might suit a lot of golfers, but it doesn't suit everybody. So what I would encourage you to do to find the best ball position for you is to either have try one inside your left heel, try one opposite your left heel, or try one even slightly forward. So even towards your toe slightly. But what you've got to remember is not to start to lean forward. If you lean forward with the driver, you're going to put yourself in a real mess. So try those three different ball positions, a little bit further back than you would do normally, where you would normally do it, and then maybe slightly forward. Hit some shots on the range. Don't be afraid of mishitting them, because that's the whole point of this. We're trying different things to see what's best for you, not what's best for everybody. You know, you're the important person in this. So we've got the correct distance from the golf ball, we've got the right ball position for you, and what we now need to do is figure out two more things, which is how wide your feet should be apart. A lot of people, again, get this wrong and they, they have their feet too wide apart or too narrow. So a very simple trick is it's just a simple natural stride, then turn to face the golf ball. 
Um, this is your natural balance point and it will enable you to move really efficiently. So with the driver, if your feet were a little bit too narrow, you would miss out on some power. But likewise, if you have the stance too wide, you'll be too stable and you won't be able to transfer your weight very efficiently. So it's just a natural stride. Let me just show you that again. So it's just a natural stride, turn to face the golf ball, and that's your natural balance point. So uh, again, worth experimenting with a stance that feels a little bit narrower than you may do normally, or something a touch wider. Go to your normal one, see which one gives you the best results. So don't leave it to chance, try different things. Now another thing that I like to see people doing with the driver is often they don't turn very efficiently. So this is another thing that we can do in the setup. So we've gone through the routine. What we're gonna do is pull your right foot slightly backwards. So dare I say in line with the toes of my left foot, and we're going to turn the toe out. So if I show you this from face on, let's go here. So I'm just gonna pull my foot back and I'm gonna turn my toe out slightly. Now what this will do is give you a greater uh, range of motion in your right hip, which will enable you to turn even more efficiently in the backswing. The worst thing you can do with a driver is to put your feet forward and have what's called an open stance. This would really affect the path that you're gonna hit the golf ball on. So an open stance is a terrible way of doing it. You can't turn very well. It'll make you hit the wrong side of the golf ball and you lose a lot of distance and you lose a lot of accuracy. So this one wide open stance for driving, I wouldn't recommend that you do that. Let's go the opposite way. And then the final thing that we need to get right is what I call weight distribution. So if my feet at setup feel 50-50, with the driver, I don't mind if your weight is 60-40 favoring your back foot, just so we've got a little bit of a head start in terms of weight transfer in the backswing. So what I wouldn't really like to see is too much weight on your front foot uh, in, the, in the setup because this will make hitting the driver really difficult. It makes you actually hit down on the driver, which is going to cause the ball to spin too much and send it offline. So it's very subtle, but just feels as though you're just loading up your right leg a little bit more than you might do normally. Uh, and this is just going to give you a head start in your backswing. So there's a few things there to look for in your setup because if we get the setup right, that's going to help the next part. So I know that you've just watched the first section of this five part video, but if you'd like to carry on watching the rest of it, simply click on the link above or in the description below. Uh, once you've clicked on the link, you'll be able to watch the rest of the video. Now, if you follow these simple steps, I know that it's gonna make a massive difference to your driving. So I hope you've enjoyed it and look forward to seeing you in the next one.